Hey guys, it's Rosie, welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're going to the drive-in theater in the town right next to us. So, I've been preparing almost all day. Um, I made some sun butter and white chocolate covered kind of Buckeyes things, but a bit of a modification just so I can eat them. But um, I'm gonna make popcorn soon. We're gonna just make a bunch of big bags because I don't know if the concession stands open, so I'd rather just bring my own anyway. Um, I also picked out this really cute outfit. It's this New York sweatshirt that I got last year, um, plus this polo under with my locket, um, a scrunchie, and a skater skirt, which you can't see right now, but I will be posting on Instagram if you want to check it out. So, um, I'm really excited, like I said, and I guess let's go get uh, working on the popcorn. Um, we are going to be seeing 16 Candles, followed by Breakfast Club, and it starts at 8.15. It is 7 right now, so I think it's a perfect time to start making the popcorn. Alright, I'm switching to my phone to show you guys the setup we have in the car. Oh yeah, there's our camper. Um, so my mom, dad, and I are going. So here's the car. You can see we have like a sleeping bag, a whole bunch of pillows, and then two air mattresses down. We are at the drive-in. I'm super excited and the movie's starting. So we're just laying down. There's a bed. It's really comfy and we have the perfect view. So I'm going to show you that. But yeah, let's watch the movie. Um, so I brought popcorn and lemonade and these um, sun butter white chocolate things. So, it's awesome. We just got back from the drive-in. Um, I had a really, really great time. Um, it is like 11 p.m. We didn't actually watch the second movie, um, but it was just really great. So. I will talk about it more in the morning because I'm very tired. I need to go to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning and we will discuss more the whole experience. Okay, so it's time for my whole review on going to the drive-in. Um, overall, it was a wonderful experience, let me just say. And I want to show you um, my bullet journal page that I made yesterday. So it has this little movie reel that I found in my scrapbooking stuff with six 16 candles here and the breakfast club down here then a little news heading that I found on the New York Times that says the drive-in theater keeping drama alive during the lockdown then a picture that I took um, from our car that says good evening folks and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater which I thought was really you know nice then the date and then I had a whole write-up about it which is basically just what I'm going to tell you guys about and then here is the receipt for our car, so basically our ticket in this little envelope. So, um, when we got there, there was like a decent line. It said that the movie was going to start at 8.15, um, but then it turned out not starting until 9, which was really good because we sat in line for a while, um, but we did end up, when we got in, getting a really great spot. Um, from the picture you could see that we had a perfect view from laying down in the back of the car. We could see the entire screen. Um, and so if you've never been to a drive-in, um, you play the like audio through your radio so you can hear it, um, which I think is really cool. So we basically just like watched their commercials until the movie started. Um, 16 Candles was first, 
So we watched the movie um, and brought some snacks. So I showed you my popcorn and my sun butter treats, which were really delicious. Um, and then I brought some lemonade also. Um, and my dad went and bought more popcorn. Also, um, a soft serve ice cream of chocolate and vanilla swirl, which was pretty good. And some hot cocoa. So we had that also. Um, and we just ended up watching Only 16 Candles because it ended at like um, like 10.30ish. So we didn't want to stay too, too late. We were getting tired. So we will watch The Breakfast Club sometime. I've never seen it, but it will not be at the drive-in. Um, and my mom and I decided that we want to try to go again um, another time this summer because it was just so much fun. So I'm really excited for that. This was really definitely um, one of the highlights of my summer. So I really hope we get to go again. And if you like it, I can vlog again. Just let me know. So yeah, um, make sure to check out my Etsy shop to buy one of the chokers that I make. Um, follow me on social media at Rosie Revolts. Check out my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!